Renata also oh, works Renata pretty well as well, work, I think. Yeah. So, Rogue, <laughs> as usual in this regular season, stock standard, scaling, good team fight, a little bit early game to play for. Melee mids always need a little bit of help. G2, I'm going to hold it for a second, because We're if it's swinging it and dying to try and steal this, definitely no. not. But does he want to give up the crab as well? Because that gives Malrang a quicker access to level 6. Yankos G2 has navigated the early game relatively well. I've got towards those level 6, and you can see Yankos a little bit more aggressive now on the lap, a little bit more will uh, on the map, so a little bit more willing to look for these plays. Odawamne going in. Bellows breath has been used. Oh, Broken Blade missed the knock-up. The counter knock-up coming out. Here's the call of the Forge God. Marang's going to try and join. Cyclone, a possibility. The brittle passive on Broken Blade as well. He tries to turn it back around. Yakos falls for first blood. Oh, Broken nice. Blade will get one. Marang's going to try and answer this. Just needs that red buff. Of course, Broken Blade can jump across this wall. Flash coming off cooldown now as well. Could try and turn this around. Does have the flash in about two seconds. Oh, BB. Puts the damage in. Larson's on the way. Okay, so Broken Blade has flash. Has a, war, uh, a bush to get into. He's gonna, He's try, gonna try and execute. Try and execute. One tower shot, Larson here, flash forward! He can't flash away from the King Slayer. Yeah, just so much it. kind of different things they can achieve in fights to just single-handedly carry the game. You know, you got Larson on Silas as well, can take away a couple of these ultimates and make some plays of his own. I mean, if he takes away Caps' ult and Malran gets a double knock-up, then you basically reverse the combo back onto them. Dragon falls in favor of Rogue. Two dragons towards... Uh, for them, sorry. Around 10 minutes to assault, will be mountain. Cancel on the base oh, using the protocol there. Cancel. Oh, no, I mean, doesn't really have anywhere to go. Fate sealed! And from long range, oh, full root. If targets can get it out, but for the moment, looks like Mowin's looking towards the mid lane. Larson going in as well. The Everfrost dodged by Caps, but you can't dodge the Cyclone. Targets trading here with the demonic sentient down towards the bottom side. Demon Flare just needs it, but Trimby flashes. Oh, targets pulls him back with the Never Move. 2v2 kill. Root, if Trimby flashes, it's going to hit anyway. Decides to flash because he looks like the exhaust takes the brunt of the damage, but Targamas can follow through. And Yankos is there to make sure that they can keep chasing in case someone was it behind. Looks like Targamas might be skipping past the Imperial Mandate straight towards a Rylai's hit on the Swain. Oh, defend it, but Dragon's spawning soon. So you've got this kind of lull state where both teams are just hovering around mid. Maybe we're going to fight. Marang flashes forward, flash away by Flatgun. Marang looking for some damage on the cap. Second Cyclone coming in. Com puts down a Shuriken, but Marang just too deep as Flatgun was able to flash away. Oh, Top lane. Tower could fall as well as Broken Bay goes in. Dawning Shadow enough. G2. Two kills across the map. I don't know what Marang was expecting there. He goes in, but his team's all at their own tower, so there's no follow up whatsoever. He falls. Well, Broken, Broken Bay could keep going, but he doesn't have the TP. His ult's coming back up in a second, so Everyone has their ultimates up apart from Flackett, basically, and they're ready to fight Larson. I wonder how long it's going to take until this ultimate falls off. Flackett, no flash. Targamus, no flash as well. Marang in the pit with the dragon. It does reset. Larson pulled back, pops the stopwatch. Oh, yes. there's a start takeover, but Yanko still gets in. Trimby with a bailout, but Comp can't be bailed out by anyone. The dragon still for the taking here for G2. Marang able to get one. Three against three now. Rift Hose still charging forward. Marang, Larson, and Odo trying to do what they can, but Yankos, no real engage tool for him anymore. No flash, no moonfall. Smite. Broken Bay can try and do it. The smites secured by Malrang. Rifteld will charge, but that tower... What could be the deciding fight of the game? Broken Blade here looking for oh, Trimby. Damage. Oh, you just can't do anything as Trimby here pops the bailout. The chase is on for Yankos, but Malrang settles for the Krugs instead. Malrang still chasing forward here. You can see Larson trying to come in from the side. around and look at each other like, hang on a second. It's a 3v3 and now Larson's in a 1v3. There's nowhere for him to go once again. The chase from long range. See how far back Odwame is playing. He knows he can't defend this whatsoever. And if they were to move bottom defend this, they'd lose their mid tower. So that's the power of Anyone wondering about the Swain build, uh, basically? What happens is Imperial Mandate when you slow or immobilize. Marang, looking for the flank, he can blast on over the wall. Odo rooted. Takes a bit of a Yankos. chance. Marang looking for that flank position. Could go in. Yankos onto the back line. Immediately, Cop is down. He's bailed out, but he can't survive. The dragon resets, and Larson now on the back line trying to do it. He can caps. Putting the damage down is a double for him. Odo Omne trading against three down towards the bottom side. Trimby coming in, trying to save Malarang. They will get caps. Trimby, though, will not be able to save his jungler. Odo chased away. The rest of Rogue Light tattered in the river. Odo will fall as well. And G2 claim the ace. Possibility. Broken Blade has TP, and you can see Rogue trying to react to this. Yankos looking for it. Hostile takeover goes in, but already Trimby's down. Larson's gonna try and trade it around. Comp's from the side, putting the damage down, but Larson has to pop the soul. Jodo Wamna going in. Comp get forces forward. Dutch is away from the face shield as well. Broken Blade, though, on a rampage now is the rest of Rogue. I just melted in the top lane. Targamus unkillable. G2 unkillable as Rogue fall once again. Oh, G2 are relentless. Rogue show their faces and they're jumped upon. Pratsbon instantly by G2, and they just have so 
much goddamn damage that Rogue don't stand ahead of a chance. Trimby and Larson are gone from the get-go, and they're just going to be able to end the game. Marching down the top lane, G2 looking to continue how they ended spring. Currently in the LEC, they are on a 14-game winning spree, and Trimby will not be able to defend against four of them. The Nexus in their sights. XL, Mad Lions, and G2 undefeated still at the end of day two. And what an exciting